Hello everyone, I am here again with Western Political Thought and in Western Political Thought so we will be today discussing about John Rawls for today's discussion uh, we will be taking up uh, general introduction of John Rawls uh, John Rawls Theory of Justice which is one of the most important uh, political philosophy uh, John Rawls Methodology then Principles of Justice and then in the end of the discussion, we will be taking up uh, MCQ. So here you can see, uh, John Rawls was born in 1921 and died 2002, uh, is a contemporary American philosopher whose theory of justice led to the revival of interest in political philosophy in modern times. He is regarded as the first original theorist of justice since the times of Plato and Aristotle. Rawls developed his thinking in the liberal tradition and his Theory of political liberalism focuses on the legitimate use of power in democracy. His writings on the law of the people seek to extend the known principles of justice to the global sphere in order to achieve global justice. Let's jump to the main content uh, that is Rawls' theory of justice. So John Rawls in his celebrated work A Theory of Justice 1971 asserted that a good society is characterized by number of virtues and justice is the first virtue of a good society. In other words, you can say that justice is necessary but not sufficient condition of a good society. In a just society, or in a, in a just society, justice is established as a foundation of social structure. The problem of justice. So, according to Rawls, the problem of justice consists in ensuring a just distribution of primary goods which includes rights and liberties, power and opportunities, income and wealth, means of self-respect and so on. He describes his theory of justice as pure procedural justice, uh, which means that once certain principles of justice are unanimously accepted, the distribution resulting from its application will be necessarily just. Rawls methodology. So following the tradition of social contract, Rawls emphasized an original position by abstracting the individual from their particular social and economic circumstances. These individuals are symbolically placed behind wheel of ignorance where they are supposed to be deliberating as rational agents and they are totally unaware of their wants, interests, skills and abilities as well as conditions which lead to conflict and discrimination in society. But they have an elementary knowledge of economics and psychology and are endowed with a sense of justice. What happens is that each individual wants to maximize his or her well-being but without being envious. They are self-interested but they are not egoist. And according to Rawls, in such a state of uncertainty, the rational negotiators will choose the least dangerous path. Each individual will hypothetically place himself in the least advantaged position while assigning the distribution of primary goods and hence each of them will demand greatest benefit for the least advantage. So Rawls hypothesis of the original position is design designed to combine into one conception of the totality of conditions which we are ready upon due reflection to recognize as reasonable in our conduct toward one another. Since these principles of justice are to be determined by rational negotiators, they exercise rational choice in adopting these principles. So now comes principle of justice. So under principles of justice, uh, as we have seen that he has created a hypothetical condition and a hypothetical negotiator. So as a result of the hypothetical negotiation under such conditions, three principles of justice is accept, accepted by all according to Rawls in following order. And the first one is principle of equal liberty, which means that nobody's liberty will be compromised for any other benefit. Liberty in this sense implies equal right of political participation, freedom of expression, religious liberty, equality before the law, etc. The second one is the principle of fair equality of opportunity, particularly for acquiring offices and positions. The third principle is the difference principle, which implies 
that any departure from equal distribution of the primary goods can be justified only when it could be proved to bring greatest benefits to the least advantaged. In other words, a special reward for extraordinary ability and effort to any individual can be treated at just only if it results in the greatest benefits to the least advantaged. In other words, the rule of allocation to each according to his ability can be applied only if higher efficiency of the concerned individual results in ameliorating the condition of least advantaged. Here you can see that he introduces the idea of chain connection which implies that in order to strengthen a chain we should start with strengthening its weakest link and then repeat the process by identifying the weakest link on each occasion. So this was all a very brief and basic introduction or explanation of uh, John Rawls and his theory of uh, justice. Let us now take up multiple choice questions. So here we go and the first question for today is in his theory of justice Ross attack on. So correct answer here would be utilitarianism. Mm, explanation for this can be uh, that he argues that in calculating greatest happiness of greatest, greatest numbers uh, utilitarian philosophy does not care if it leads to extreme hardship to any individual. Uh, then comes the second one, find incorrect pair, all uh, apart from C, all are correct. So C here stands as incorrect pair as it was not year 1987, it was year 1999. Now comes the third one, justice as fairness means. So here uh, the answer would be C, justice as fairness envisions a society of free citizens holding equal basic rights enjoying equal opportunities of advancement and cooperating to achieve a common goal. So C here stands as the correct answer. Uh, here comes the fourth one. Ross theory of justice is a. The correct answer here is procedural justice. As I have started at the initiate, initial of the discussion that uh, he bases this theory as a pure uh, procedural justice. The fifth and the last question for today's discussion is the individuals placed behind wheel of ignorance are. So A here stands as the right answer. The individuals placed behind wheel of ignorance are rational legends. Thank you.